On this episode of Crazy Train, we take a look at one of the newest Nitro Circus superstars, R. Willie. Started as a virtual unknown in the world of action sports, but through sheer desire and hard work, he's grown to be a global superstar. He puts his skills to the test as he goes head to head against another Nitro Circus rider to become the first person to land a triple front flip on a BMX. But I guarantee you, it won't be easy. Over the years, Nitro Circus Live has become the premier show in action sports. And that is for one simple reason. We have the best action sports athletes in the world. Over the years, we've been so fortunate to have top guys like Tom Paget, triple backflip and Josh Sheehan. And Chad Keggy, just an absolute legend. Bob Bernquist came on tour. And that's not to mention all the Nitro Circus stars. I mean, we couldn't have a show without Street Bike Tommy. But if you asked me when we started this thing back in 2010, who would be the biggest star of Nitro Circus? Not in a hundred million guesses would I have ever said a scooter rider, R. Willie. That's right the star of the Moto-inspired show with the best action sports athletes in the world is freaking Scooter Rider. Had you had told me six years ago, I would have probably laughed right in your face. I may even have punched you. Yet, here we are, a lanky kid who looks like Sid the Sloth from the cartoon Ice Age from a small town in Australia, riding a little kid's toy, is the absolute biggest star of the show every night. Our winner, Scooter! But what you have to understand is all this didn't come easy for him. All the hard work and effort Ryan put in is second to none. His ability is only outdone by his work ethic. And all that started when he was a kid. I'm Ryan Williams, AKA R. Willie, from the Sunshine Coast in Australia, and I'm a scooter rider. <laughs> Calandra's always gonna be my home. I spent pretty much every day of my life at Calandra Skate Park just getting to where I am now. I never really thought of scootering as uh, anything more than a hobby for me. It was just go to the skate park, hang out with my friends, we'd challenge each other, and that's how we'd get better. I'd learn a trick, and my friends would learn it, and then my friends would learn a trick, and then I'd try learn it. I learned about Nitro Circus uh, through Travis Estrana and the live shows. I didn't think that scooters would get me there because I know that, like, back in the day, or even today, scooters are looked down upon but I just hope they'd give me the chance, and here I am today, so I guess I've proved something. Who let the scooter rider up here? Anybody in the building who wants to see a scooter rider getting smashed? Now, we had a scooter rider on the first tour, probably for the same reason we had rollerblades. Yeah, it adds to the variety, and it's just nitro to be a little different. So this guy, he said it every time. Man, he dropped in, he wasn't scared, he hucked himself. He didn't land much, and he had this creepy mustache. It just made you shake your head. We got a call one day from a sponsor who said they've got this lanky 17-year-old kid from South Australia. Can we give him a go? And we said, well, 
Yes, he came down the second we saw him on the ramp. The first time he dropped in, we all looked at each other and said, Bingo, this is the kid. I knew if they gave me a chance, I would go above and beyond what I thought I could do. I would push the limits. I was more nervous before the actual show and practice because I had never hit a ramp anywhere near that size. And it was just like, here's the waiver, sign away, there's the ramp, go for your life, basically. I remember the first time I dropped in, it was so scary. I had to break with my foot and my back wheel was popping off the ground. And then I did a front flip, first try, never hit anything that size. I actually feel a bit embarrassed these days when I look back and I have a laugh with Ryan Williams because in the first year of the show, I used to, used to write gags into the show which poke fun at Ryan Williams being a scooter rider. It was actually written into the show. Bruce, who let the scooter rider up here? This is Nitro Circuit. We can't let them in a the show. Let me check with the crowd. Anybody in the building who wants to see a scooter rider getting smashed? It seemed like overnight that it went from everyone making fun of our Willie to all the riders stopping whatever they were doing anytime time R. Willie dropped in and pointing around to the crowd being like, look at this kid and get ready to be blown away. He told me um, about two or three years ago and I laughed at him. He said, I'm gonna be the first ever scooter rider to sign a million dollar contract. Well, guess what? He just signed a million dollar contract with us. Hasn't he proved me to be an idiot? Then one day he just up and starts riding a BMX bike in practice. I remember thinking, that's a little strange, but that's pretty nitro. And fast forward 12 months, he has six world firsts on his BMX bike and is now considered one of, if not the greatest BMX rider in the world. From that point out, it seemed like anytime R. Willie did something on a scooter, he would just grab someone's bicycle and do it right away on a BMX bike. So naturally, when he came to the house filming action figures, trying his triple front flip on a scooter, he grabbed my wife's bike and tried a triple front flip on a BMX bike. It came around pretty close. He didn't think too much of it until Andrea Akimata was like, I'm gonna be the first to land a triple. And R. Willie said, no, you're not. I got that first on a BMX bike and the race was on. Brandon Schmidt is one of the best all-around action sports athletes I've ever met. His start was pretty amazing. I mean, he's a snowboarder by trade, but he sent my wife a link of him doing all this stuff and said, hey, I want to be on Nitro Circus. Lindsay showed me and said, this guy is better at almost everything than pretty much all of you guys. I've grown up watching Nitro Circus for my entire life, so to now be an actual part of it, be friends with my childhood heroes, it's a lifelong dream. Well, he heard Ryan was coming to Pastrana Land, so he said, hey, I'm coming too. I want to be the third person to triple backflip a BMX bike. Right now, with the progression of this trick for me, is the frustration point. I'm Ryan Williams, and I'm going to be trying to triple front flip on a BMX bike, even though I'm a scooter rider. The classic story behind the triple front flip for our Willie is that Andrew Ahamada came to me at the same time and said that he wanted to try a triple front flip. So both of them being nitro athletes, I had to treat this totally fairly. Couldn't give one guy an advantage. My name is Andrew Ahamada. Uh, most people know me as Mini. I'm here at Travis's giving a triple front flip a crack. It's pretty crazy just coming to Trav's and getting to use whatever I want, getting them to build whatever ramp I need. It's just a dream come true. Like, I've looked up to Travis for so long, and now I'm just sort of friends with him, I guess you'd say, and just come over to his house. He's not even here. I'm just out his backyard doing triple front flips. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how big that thing is. Big rip. Thing makes me feel like a midget. Yes, Minnie. That's because you are small. <laughs> Let's swap sides real quick. Maybe I'll make you feel. Go up a bit. Pretty big. What do you reckon? I'm kind of speechless at the moment. I don't know what to say. Four, five, four. Let's go put our pads on and hit it. Let's just get it. Hit it down and get it. 
You're up, Mini. Winners win. All right. What do you reckon? Having Mini here to try it with me is pretty. It's pretty cool, I guess. Like both striving to do a triple front flip and learning together and trying to send it together. I guess it'll be fun. It's just who does it first. too fast and I'm like, I'm gonna just over-rotate so bad if I can stay in. Right now, with the progression of this trick for me is the frustration point. You know, pretty bummed at myself, angry at myself kind of thing because I can't get to the point where I want it to be or I need it to be. I wonder if I try to do what you're doing. Basically, Mini was trying to pop off his back wheel, and he was going like 10 foot higher than me. We just thought, well, I'll try to teach him the way I do it, because it seems to just work so much better and like so much quicker somehow. Right now, I just really need to relax and just try a few different things. I'm going to copy a scooter kit, and I'm going to get it done. The whole production team arrived at Trav's to cover the triple front flip. When we were there, all those young kids together, the energy just gets nuts and they start pushing each other left and right. And Brandon Schmidt, who's a pro snowboarder, actually jumped on a bike and started whipping triple backflips. And it was on. He wanted to be the third guy to ever pull a triple backflip on a BMX bike. It was crazy because the three of us were all trying triple flips. Willie and Minnie were doing triple front, me doing triple back. Three people doing a triple flip in one day is Pretty insane. I found out about the triple front flip at Woodward when we were practicing for the North American tour. They both told me and basically said, can you please come with us? We want you there. We need you there to help us through it. I think you'll be good for, for our energies. I'm not going to pass up that opportunity to help my friends. It's so amazing to have all of uh, Travis's friends here, like Bruce moving the ramps all day, Nate Wessel just building some massive ramp that I've never seen before, and just all the boys down here, like even like random guys that are just here for like one day, they're just helping out. Everyone's just getting behind us and helping us out, giving us tips, you know. All the camera guys filming everything 24-7. It's good, it's good stuff. It's, it really like pushes you like to do better and try to get it done. When I turned up here to see the boys uh, triple front flip, Minnie, he was progressing really well every time, but then he was just really hard on himself and just would knock himself back. Didn't really realize he was doing that. It was so important to have Jed Milden there. He just came off pulling the quadruple backflip, the biggest trick in BMX. And to have him there with the young guys to be a mentor was so important. Yesterday, we had literally 10 minutes to go before we pulled the airbag down. And something happened that was like he knew that that was his last chance to get it done. <laughs> Look, 10 minutes to go of the airbag up, and Mini just rotates. That's amazing. And he spun the triple front flip perfectly to his wheels with 10 minutes to go. Went back up, four minutes to go. Stomped it again. Went back up, one minute to go before we pulled the airbag down. One minute, and then three in a row. And it was pretty, pretty epic, pretty special. We had a very short window between tour stops to make the triple happen. If we didn't take down the airbag and start building the lander at that point, we would have run out of time. I'm not going to lie, I'm bloody nervous. No, no, no! I'm at Pastrana Land. There is no better place in the world for something like this to be done. So today, I am landing a triple backflip on a BMX bike. It was the morning of the triple front flip, and we were building the lander. 
Uh, Minnie and R. Willie were getting their bikes ready, and Schmitty came to me and said, I want to pull the triple backflip right now. And we were like, man, that's insane, but we love it. Go for it. First few attempts did not go well. They went well enough to where I landed on my wheels, but the frustration levels were kicking in, and I could not figure out how to ride away. He took some huge hits and walked away from it. And we thought he was done. He was so frustrated, he was so emotional, and it just, he got inside of his head. He took time out, and after lunch came back and said, I want to go again. Drop it, guys! And then he shocked us all. That is a dream right there. That is full circle. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything. That's a wrap. I will is ready. I'm not so ready. I'm feeling pretty nervous. He said to me, dude, if you want to go first, you can go first. I'm waiting. You need to know 100% that you are ready and you're going to land it first try. You need to know in your head that it's going to happen first try. It's not a try. hope situation, it's a freaking no situation. I really can't be just waiting on me. And we're family. I'll wait. I'm still here, I haven't done it. I'm waiting. understand what you're going through, man. Yeah, I've only done it three times. Well, then, I think you've answered your own question. Kind of started spinning a little bit, so the pressure got put on a little bit more. And I was just like, look, man, just go. I'm not ready to do it just yet. I can't wait for Mini anymore. I have to do it. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time because I get the first chance of this trick. So the first attempt didn't go too well. I overshot the landing by a lot, but I seen everywhere. I seen where I was. I knew I was too high. I came out thinking that maybe I could stick it, but it was way too far to flat, and it was just not going to happen. It was sick to see that you know he got like he got out of it okay. He knew he wasn't hurt, and he was ready to go back and do it again. And that just made me even more, you know, kind of fired up. Like I. Got to do this now, you know, I've got to at least give it a go. I know you got this. you got to breathe, get as much pure oxygen in you. Stay focused, know what you're doing. Uh-huh, my first attempt. Uh-huh, <laughs> can we just play the footage? <laughs> I was nervous as hell, um, and I just got a bit fired up and took too many pedals down the rolling. Barely missed my pop, and that's what sent me to high-five the Moo Man. I said I was gonna high-five the Moo Man, so I did. And um, that's what sent me so high and spun so slow. Um, but while I was upside down, I was like, oh, I, know, I knew I missed it. I knew I missed the snap, so I just stayed in for the ride. <laughs> oh my God. Jed was absolutely amazing. Every time I went up, he'd pick up my bike, take it up there for me, clean it up, and then he'd sit there and give me all this motivation, like, come on, Willie, you can do it, mate. Like, exactly like that. It was amazing.
yeah, after the second one, my body was just thrashed. I hit the ground too hard that first time and... I didn't think that there was a point of me going back up there. It seems like he's, he's out, he's done. And I just went through him, third, fourth, fifth. And then the sixth one, I just looked up. Rona, this is for you. This one's for you, Rona. Come on. Was that it? And everyone's cheering. I was like, okay, that was it. On any given day, it could have been either of us that stuck it. Couldn't have done it without everyone. It's just that amazing feeling that you're one in seven billion people that have done this trick.